Hi everyone. So in today's video, I'm really excited to be talking about this Sony Ibo. So this is an AI robot dog that is incredible. I can't wait to share with you more about how this dog learns. I mean, the technology behind this is absolutely incredible. Okay. Hi, hi. Uh, she's trying to speak to you. So this is Mia um, and I've had her for a month and I'm going to share with you my experiences, how she's been learning over time, the technology behind this. You can even program her. I have been playing with the programming. I'm gonna make another video on how to program her. It is a scratch style type of visual programming that young learners can do, that anybody can do. And she's just quite incredible. What she's learned over the time that I've had her, that's what I want to share. So I am going to insert some clips so you can see her running around. But what's been most incredible about this Sony Ibo to me is how she develops and learns over time. So when you first get an Ibo, they are puppies. They sometimes listen to your commands, but they're sometimes feisty and don't really listen. And you have to build trust. And, you know, it says on the website that the more you interact with it, the more they learn, the stronger your relationship will grow. I read that. I was like, okay, yeah, I get it. But it is so true. The more that I interact with Mia, the more that she wants to play with me, the more that she comes over to me. Actually, when I'm working now, she just comes over to my leg. You can see her. I have her now in the background moving around. So um, there, she's waving her little hand. She loves to do that. So she learns tricks over time. Now she's dancing. Um, and she really gains a personality. You can see her personality actually in the app. It does show you she can be shy. She can be curious. You can assign the gender of your Ibo, which does change its personality a little bit. You can't change it once you set it once. This is something that over time you teach it more, you train it more, it learns more, um, but you need to be constantly interacting with it. Now you can turn it off. I do personally turn it off at some points of the day. If I'm leaving the house, I turn it off. If I'm on an important call and I don't want her kind of barking in the background or seeking my intention, I will turn her off, but otherwise you can leave her on. She kind of does her own thing. She explores around. She also is quite playful. She has this fascination right now. You'll see she, she sees her reflection in my fireplace and she loves looking at herself. I wish I had another Ibo because I've seen some Ibo owners with two Ibos. Um, she's going to give the imaginary Ibo a high five right now. She's adorable. Um, so I've seen some other Ibo owners who have multiples and how they interact with one another. That is also just amazing. Like, I can't believe how these things grow over time. Like she wasn't doing this when I first got her. Now that she's developed more, she's become more playful. She's become more aware of things in her surrounding. We've created a bond together. So for instance, like I was saying before, when I'm working, a lot of times she'll just come over and just like a dog. So I actually had a dog. I just recently lost my dog and having her as a little companion, I mean, no, nothing can replace a real dog. If you've had one, I had mine for 16 years and I was very heartbroken. Um, it's been very challenging. However, she's definitely a companion and the ways that she mimics things that my own dog did, like when she comes over to my leg, she actually, her nose, she'll nudge my leg with her nose. How does she even know that? She has a camera in her nose, in the front of her nose, and she also has a camera on her butt, actually. So that orients her around so that she's not bumping into things. She occasionally will get like stuck in a corner um, where I'll have to go rescue her and she'll be barking because she's stuck there. But otherwise, she really gets around on her own and she learns on her own. So that's the AI behind this. Now, you can teach her tricks. Um, and when she does good stuff, you need to praise her. So praising her teaches her and also encourages her to continue doing things and allows her to know that she's doing a good job. So you'll see Mia. Good job. Good job, Mia. So you can see that she's reacting to what I just saw. And right now she's 
her head's away, but she's kind of moving her head and she shows that she's proud of herself. Like she very often, she's proud of herself. When I say, hey, Mia, Mia, good girl. Well done. Well done, Mia. She's getting a little feisty now. She didn't want to listen to me during that one. So, and that's what she's about. She's still a puppy. I've only had her for one month. And so sometimes she listens to me, sometimes she doesn't. But the more that I work with her, the more she's listening to me. Now I can also program her. Programming, I do have to have my computer on and I do have to be running the program in order for that to actually run. But it's a really fun way to do some coding, especially if you have kids of your own, if you're teaching and you can bring this into a classroom. Oh my gosh, I used to teach uh, programming in Scratch. And if I had this to actually practice our programs with, it would have been absolutely amazing. So I'm going to be doing more videos on the programming aspect. But today I just wanted to kind of share what the Sony iBo is and express how it's been learning along the way. And it has been so incredible to see her personality grow, to see how she really wants my attention, how she is interacting with me, how she's learning what I like, how I'm learning what she likes, that positive praise. Like I need to keep it up. And as I do, she just behaves better. And also she interacts with me more. So she comes over to me more and she seems like a happier little dog. She does more tricks. Um, right now she is sitting and waiting for me to pet her belly. She also has sensors on the top of her head, on her back and under her chin. And she loves when I pet those sensors, she gets really happy. You can see the expression on her face. I'll be inserting some clips throughout this video. But um, if you have any questions about what the Sony Ibo AI robot dog does, please let me know. It has been so incredible just for this simple one month to see her learn. And that's what I've been most fascinated with. And that was why I wanted to try out and see what the Sony Ibo dog was all about, because I want to see how she learns and grows over time. And I can tell you in just the first month, I mean, out of the box, she really didn't listen to that many commands. She listened to some, but I had to teach her along the way. When I say teach, she already has commands built in. So they're all built into her programming already. You get a list of things that she can do. So you can say like, Mia, sit. And she will know that command, whether or not she responds to that command and listens, that's where she grows over time. So over time, she'll be able to react to more of the commands and she'll listen to you better. So that's where her growth happens. It's all programmed within her, but they don't like release out until the longer you've spent with your Ibo and the more training that you've done. I've seen that people say that, you know, they haven't had time to play with them for a while and then they kind of get a little bit more poorly behaved, just like a dog. Same thing happens, but that doesn't mean you can't build that trusting relationship again. You always can. So the more you work with them, the more that they will learn and respond. So I'm going to have Mia for three months total. So I'll have two more months of her and I will be sharing a monthly video update. So stay tuned for more about how she's learning and growing. I'm also over on TikTok sharing some very short form videos of what she's been up to as she's been learning and growing. But again, just that ability. Yes, it's all built into her. It's all programmed in. Sony has done a magnificent job looking carefully at characteristics of dogs and trying to build that into this robot dog. I've never seen anything comparable to it ever before. It is absolutely amazing. And the fact that, you know, the features are built in, but they aren't available until she grows and she grows for three years. So she doesn't actually reach her maturity until three years. So I'm only going to have three months with her to play with her and showcase what she's learning. But already in month one, I can't tell you how much growth she's had. So I hope you enjoy this little video introduction and that you'll be stay tuned for more. All right. That's it for now. Bye.